Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Five Gay Guys who start out in Seattle. That's Seattle, Washington. And we meet a really nice young man in Italy. Aww. Yes, and he helps us wander around northern Italy. We flew into Florence, great city. And uh, we rented a little villa. A villa, actually. This is our little place. Nice, huh? Anyway, we're celebrating Jerry's 60th birthday. My buddy Jerry that I've known since uh, about 1981. Some more views of the uh, villa. Really a fantastic place. Great gardens. Fabrizio and his partner own the 28-hectare area of property where this uh, was one of the uh, houses on the property. And they had a full-time gardener who uh, was around a lot. We didn't see him too much, but he was always around. Uh, this is looking in from uh, the garden into the kitchen area. And there is the stove, really nice stove. And um, interesting sink, though. It was the most shallow sink I'd ever seen, but big. And uh, there's Jerry and Luca, our buddy from Italy doing uh, doing dinner for us. Jerry and Luca love to cook. So when we were there at the villa, that's what they did. They cooked for us. And you can see Jerry throwing some stuff into a pot. That's looking in from the outside into the kitchen area. Um, and um, this was just outside the kitchen. A little hearth there they used to cook on, I'm sure. This little dog, this little whippet was there a lot. Uh, Fabrizio's dog. There's a millstone in the garden. That must have been fun to put up there. I can see it from a different angle, looking back at the kitchen. And the garden just wonderful. That's another view from the side there. This is one of the outside areas that um, I, I did a lot of writing on this uh, table when we were there at night. That's looking at that same area from the outside. Really nice, nice house. Uh, that's looking from the kitchen outside to where the dog was sitting, remember? Yeah. And there's uh, myself in the dark there and uh, Luca and Jerry. I'm, of course, smoking. Um, this was the dining room. Kind of small. But um, if that, you know, I mean, if all, all six of us could fit in there. There's Luca serving dinner to Jerry and myself. The other guys, I don't know where they were. I was ready to eat. I'm always ready to eat. So it's Jerry. Uh, Luca did a great job with the meal. Um, there's myself, Todd, and Steven in the dark uh, shadow to the right there. Luca made this uh, really amazing uh, fruit uh, dessert. This is back at the main section of the house, the entrance area. And um, a lot of antiques and nice collectibles to look at. And, um, the little places to sit here and there. Um, you know, just kind of hang out. There's some more this during the daylight hours. That neat little place there. And the ceilings in, this, in the, in the uh, villa, villa were just amazing. I mean. Uh, here we all are outside, Jerry, myself, Todd, Stephen, and Luca. We're just sitting out there. It's a great place to sit, talk, gather information for the day ahead, or uh, talk about the day we had before. Uh, let's look back at that same area. Here we're back inside. That's the main front door there. They have this weird big table in the middle of it, and uh, these odd little, little uh, things. I don't know what they, anyway, and you can see, looking back in towards the library area. So, they had this great wood stove. We didn't use it, it was October, so it was plenty warm in Italy. Great time to travel in Italy, late October or mid-October. Yeah, that's the library again. And that's uh, Jerry and me, a little fat me. Boy, am I fat there, huh? Anyway, um, that's back into that center area. Looking at the stairs, going upstairs to where the bedrooms are. I like the the, uh, the the paint they use on the walls. It was nice, soothing. Most of most of it was soothing. Uh, this was the landing upstairs. Nice little TV area. Uh, fireplaces with, you know, all over the place. Look at that ceiling. Isn't that amazing? 
Um, and there's a little day bed in that uh, landing area there that uh, I think uh, Gregor slept on a few times. This was Stephen and Todd's bedroom upstairs. Um, the canopy, of course. Um, this was the most intense color in any of the rooms, but I liked it. It worked. This was the bathroom they had off their, off their room. Nice little tile, well, pretty big tile bathroom. Nice little uh, tub. Uh, good sized mirror. That's back in the hallway. Uh, one side's uh, our room, one side's Jerry's room. Uh, this is where Gregor and I stayed. Uh, great king size beds in each of the rooms. Um, there's a little sitting area for reading and just look out to the garden. It was beautiful. Uh, back on uh, into the hallway here. And I think the next, uh, that, this is Jerry's room. Another good sized bed. Not quite as big a room, but single guy. Anyway, that's looking out towards that uh, seating area that's outside. Um, and the gardens were just amazing around the place. Lots of places to look, lots of things to do and see. You could just sit there and ponder and just, uh, you know, commune with nature. Lots of places to walk. Take this little path out, you get to uh, a couple of different outbuildings and you come across things like their uh, chicken coop. <laughs> That's a great sized chicken coop. Lots of eggs. Lots of chickens, all different types of chickens. And, um, of course, they had the high fences to keep the coyote out. And then we've got to, they had goats there. Good way to keep down a lot of the vegetation. There's their little dwelling. Keep them from uh, being out in the, in the cold or wet. These little guys were just so fun. They were wandering around and jumping and playing with each other. It was it was great to watch them do their stuff. And uh, here we go with, there's a little, an older or younger ram, a couple of the goats. There's a mommy and a little baby, kind of cute. Uh, and there's, the, oh, there's daddy. Check out that beard. <laughs> Quite the regal boy. Here's uh, Luca, uh, just hanging out in the garden. Um, I don't know what exactly he was doing. Oh, they had these great little koi ponds all over the place. Those little tiny uh, places where they had these um, water plants in them, which is kind of fun. And then uh, there we go again. Uh, see a little, they were not very big koi, it was a very small pond. So, and then of course had the uh, um, jugs and stuff all throughout. There's some more of the foliage. Great time of year. Um, Italy is usually pretty warm, so uh, here I am with the. Uh, Luca and Luca just adorable. His dog is pretty happy. We took a couple of wanderings around the 20 hectares of land, a lot of outbuildings uh, for different things. I don't know exactly what they were used for, but in this one we know it was an olive press mill. They have a lot of olive trees all over, of course, Italy, and uh, they press their own olives here uh, to get olive oil. And then um, uh, they also, Fabrizio made his own wine, which he gave us a bottle of the first night we were there. This is looking at the, um, at the video from the parking area where we parked our cars. Anyway, that's about it for the via. Uh, part two is coming up. Uh, we did a lot of traveling in town. Stay tuned.